Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in learning about, please stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over how to create this product right here. So this is a stainless steel uh, tumbler. They've become very popular and I'm gonna show you how you can use uh, free graphics from Creative Fabrica as well as Canva to create this um, and then how to get the um, how to get the product template off of Printful, how to create the mock-up using Printful and Canva. So if you would like to be able to do this, please do stick around. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I had a few different questions about different products and then also about Creative Fabrica and some of the papers that you could, um, or the wallpapers that you could use and how you could use them. So for today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you guys can do a custom tumbler, like a travel mug type thing, um, using Creative Fabrica, Canva, and Printful. So right now I'm starting off on Printful and I will be jumping back and forth between the three of them. But I'm on my Printful page and I'm at the product catalog section. And so the product catalog will allow you to look through all sorts of different products. And of course there are tons of products that you can look through. I'm gonna go down here to where it says home and living give it a second and it's going to pull up a lot of different home and living style stuff i'm going to look specifically at drinkware coasters and we will see some stainless steel water bottles glossy mugs this is the one i wanted to show you here the stainless steel tumbler because this has been pretty popular lately but this technique could kind of work for all of them so um, you know get as creative as you like but let's start with the stainless steel tumbler now, the first thing that you can do if you want to know what size to design for is all of these products are going to give you a sort of template that you can work with. So as I start to scroll down, if I keep scrolling, I'll get description, shipping, file guidelines. If I go to file guidelines, I will see their print sizes and a uh, print file template that you can download if you want to. So if I was to just download that print file template right there, it will download it. I'll have to come up to top right hand corner of my computer where it says downloads. You gotta open that because it is gonna be in a zip file. And then from there you can just take the Tumblr template and just drag and drop it into your downloads so that it'll be there for you to use. So that is all I needed this for right now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go over to Canva. Now on Canva, you can open custom size uh, designs, and so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm on the home page of Canva here, and I'm just gonna go to create the design. And then down at the bottom, it'll say custom size. So I'm gonna start with a custom size. Now for this, um, the custom size that I'm gonna use that's gonna correlate best with the tumbler is going to be 5,400 pixels by 4,600 pixels. Okay, so if you wanna see that again, that's 5,400 pixels by 4,600 pixels. And that's gonna correspond best with the size of the, the template for the tumbler. So here is my blank page. If I was to go now over to the left-hand side, all of these tabs, I can come over to where it says uploads, and then I can hit upload files. It should pull up your downloads. Oops, let's find my downloads you should be able to then download the template that you just got off of Printful for your, um, for your Tumblr. And so if you give it a second, it will download. And we can just click on that and drag it into our blank page. So now here is my template. So I wanna show you if I take this template and I drag it out, it fits my page perfectly. So I had to play with this a little bit to know what size to to make, which is why I told you guys 5400 by 4600 pixels is going to work great. And so I just wanted to show you that. And you can use this technique of getting the template for any of the products that you want. But I just wanted to show you this is the page that we're working with. So now let's get a design. So there's a lot of different ways that you can design for this, but I did have somebody asking about uh, Creative Fabrica and some of their papers. So I'm gonna jump over to Creative Fabrica and now this is entirely free, okay? You do have to create an account, 
but you don't necessarily have to pay for an account because there's tons of freebies. And for the most part, that is all I use Creative Fabrica for is occasional freebies. Um, and so if you're on just your regular page and you've got a free account, you can go over to the right hand side, you'll see something that says freebies. Now you can hit all freebies, free fonts, free SVGs, free graphics, etc. For this, we are looking at your free graphics. So if you click on free graphics, you will see there are literally thousands of pages of free graphics. It'll take you a long time to look through all of those. I spent a while this morning looking through the first 150 pages out of you know, almost 6,000. So you, you can be searching for a while and there's tons of free stuff. So, you know, if you haven't looked on it, um, this is a great resource that you can use. And again, totally free. You know, these are totally free to download and to use. And so they are great. And so here's some of the papers that I've been asked about. There's a whole bunch of just really pretty background style papers that you can use. And so I looked through these and tried to find ones that I thought would look best. Now, some of these they already make for tumblers. So you can, you know, obviously down, download some that are already kind of designed with tumblers in mind. The one that I looked and decided I wanted to use, the one that I thought was the best, was actually all the way on page 32. So I'm going to go forward until I get to page 32 so I can show you guys. Okay, so here I am, I made it to page 32, and as I'm scrolling down, of course, there's lots more papers, lots of cool graphics, and I came across this. So this was already made for a tumbler, and it's got sort of a beach look to it, which I thought was a little bit more unique than some of the other ones. It's definitely got a cool gradient and some sparkles, and I'd like to work with this. I think this would be really great. So what I can do on any of these is just double click on that. And it will open up the page where it will say, you know, free download. And it says commercial usage allowed. And so we know we can use it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click download for that. And this will pop up. It'll ask you if you want to, you know, obviously get a free, um, free trial that you then have to pay for. I'm gonna hit maybe later. I, you know, I've already tried their free trial and everything I need is in freebies. So I have no reason to actually pay for anything. Um, so anyways, I have now downloaded that. And so again, I can go up to the top of my computer where, where you have the little download button. It's also gonna download in a zip file. So I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna find my little tumbler and I'm just gonna drag and drop it into my downloads. And once it's there, I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight back over to my Canva page. So I'm back on my Canva page here and I'm just gonna go ahead and upload that file that I just got from Creative Fabrica. So I'm gonna go over to my uploads I'm gonna put upload files. I'm gonna to go to my downloads and I'm going to upload my glitter background. There we go, perfect. So there it is uploaded and now I can just click on that and I'm gonna close this. Now they did a little tapered one because sometimes you'll get like um, mugs and whatnot that are tapered. So we don't need it to be tapered. I want it to fill the whole thing. So I am just gonna take it, you know, corner to corner and fill this entire page so I'm going to expand it until I make sure I've got every last corner covered there we go I'm going to line it up the way I want it make sure I've got kind of equal parts glitter on the top and the bottom or as much as I want and so now I've got this um, perfect template for my tumbler now I don't want to ever use things as is um, even if it's allowed to use things as is, I still want to change it because I don't want my design to be the same as, you know, a hundred other people's designs. So I always want to add something a little bit different and unique. Sometimes I'll make some dramatic changes and sometimes I'll make just some really subtle changes, but I do always want to make sure that I'm putting up original artwork and original designs and not simply just reusing ones that are up, you know, all over the place. Um, you want your work to stand out. You want somebody to buy your work over somebody else's. And if there's a thousand versions of your design up there, it's, you know, it's less likely that yours is gonna get chosen. So this is a really cool sort of beach kind of look where they kind of got the wave look and they got like kind of the sand look and the sparkles. So I think I'm just gonna elaborate on this a little bit. I'm thinking maybe we'll put some starfish or whatnot, and maybe some more glitter down here. So there's different ways I can go with this. So if I was to go over to the left hand side of my page again and come up to the elements tab, there's a few things I could search for. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to go with sort of like a 
let's go with white glitter. Let's see what happens there, white glitter. And there's photos and there's graphics. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna look through the graphics first. And what I like are some of these that sort of start dark and fade. You know, that's kind of what you'll see here is that it'll sort of fade out. And so I'm looking for something like that, a little white glitter that can fade out that might look, you know, good on here. Um, and so we'll just take a look, see if I can find anything. If I can, great. If not, no problem. And I can always look through the photos too. These are a lot more solid, so this isn't quite what I want. I think graphics is more of what I want for this. For example, if I was to take this one here, let me take a look at this. I can flip that around so it's a little bit wider at the top. I can lay this right over the top of this. Okay, so that's cool. It just gives it a little bit more of a, a white look to the top versus it was dark there before. So I'm giving it a little bit more white right at the top. And so that just adds a little bit more dimension and you can do stuff like that throughout. So now let's say I'm gonna go with more of a gold glitter and do kind of the same thing on the bottom, see if I can add any extra sparkle. So here's a really good example of a gold glitter that sort of tapers out. And I can flip that over there. And I can do the same thing I did here and taper that gold glitter out. Now I can make it really dark or I can bring this down. So I can put it kind of anywhere on the page I like if I was to bring it down so that it just goes a little bit into the waves there. That adds, again, just a little bit more dimension. And so these are some subtle changes that you can make to make yours original. And there's all sorts of ways that you can go with that. I'm also gonna put, let's see some starfish in here. So let's go with starfish and see what I come up with. And so I'm looking for something that I can kind of make match the ocean color here. So something in sort of that bluish tone. So here's one that sort of looks like it's got a little bit of that bluish tone in it. And so I kind of like that one there. And I could put it something like that. Maybe I'll get another one. We'll just see what we have. I could do a couple different styles or whatnot. Or I could do a shell down here, maybe it might look good. So all sorts of ways we could go with this. If I find any other ones that I like, well, there's another one here, that one's got kind of a curvy look. I don't like that, it's not as detailed as the other one. I think I'll just stick with that. Let's go with a shell. Let's see if I can find sort of a brownish shell that I can put here. And maybe even in photos, something like there's a shell in photos. And maybe I could put that shell down there a little bit. And so it's gonna kinda um, blend in a little bit so you can't see it as well. Now here's another starfish, that one's red. Here's another starfish. You could get a starfish that's a little bit more tan if I wanted to do something like that with the real looking starfish. You know, so let's say I didn't want the shell, but let's say I wanted the starfish and I wanted it to kind of blend in a little bit. I could do it like that. Let's say I kind of curved it that way. Maybe I make this shell really small. I could put the shell somewhere. You know, so you can play with it, make it as beachy as you want. Um, I am gonna do a little technique here where I want this to blend in a little bit more so I don't want it to be as obvious. So what I can do is use some transparency on this and this will print really good when we're doing that sort of all over print on harder objects. So not necessarily t-shirts as much as like fabric, but if you're doing a mug or a poster or a sticker, you know, transparency can work good. So I can kind of, if you can see, I can make that really transparent so you can't see it at all. I can make it just really subtle so something like that now, it's there, but it's subtle. And I can do the same thing here with this one, use a little bit of transparency, as much or as little as I want to kind of make that one look really subtle. I could do the same thing here with the shell if I wanted to. The shell already blends in, it camouflages really well. So it's very hard to see that shell as is, but something like that. And so you can play, 
you could put shells all over the place. You could put anything you wanted. I mean, I could use some cool white shells up here if I wanted to. So some of these that are pretty white, you know, might look good more towards the top if I was to do something like that. Maybe, maybe make it a little smaller still. Maybe use some transparency on that. There you go. So that gives it really a subtle look where we're starting to get some, you know, some shells, some, see, I don't like that one, some different designs in there, but I've kind of used the transparency to make them a little bit more subtle. And so you can play with it as much as you want, make it as subtle as you want, but there we go. You can see how you can just sort of play with that a lot. So there we go, I kind of like that. And so this puts sort of a unique spin on the already made mug. So I added a little bit more contrast here, a little bit more glitter up into the water here, added a couple starfish, added a shell. So just did a little bit of stuff to kind of make it your own. And once you kind of have it the way you want it, I'm just gonna go ahead and title this Beach Tumbler. And we will download this. And so I'm gonna download it as it is. It's a PNG. I don't need a transparent background or anything for this because it's all over print. So I just have to hit download and it will download it. And then I can jump right back over to Printful and go ahead and put it up on a product so you can see how it looks. And so we'll go ahead and make a product template for that. There we go, okay. All right, so I'm over back on my Printful page, and right now I'm gonna switch from the product catalog page to product templates, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a template for this. So I'm gonna hit create product template. I'm gonna go back down to home and living. I'm going to select my tumbler. There it is. And now I can go ahead and drop my design here. And I can change colors too, it doesn't matter because we're gonna print all over it. Um, picking white might just make it a little easier for you to print on. Let's go ahead and upload our file, Beach Tumblr. There we go. So this is the Beach Tumblr one that I just made. And you can see how it fits perfectly in here. So it was perfect because we used the template to make sure it was perfect. So it goes edge to edge and that's great. So I can hit continue. I can go ahead and title this whatever I want. Um, so let's go with the beach and starfish. Stainless steel tumbler. I know right now it's not giving you the mock-up view. That's okay. I can save product template and then I'll show you how we can go ahead and download that mock-up. So now that you've got your mock-up, if I was to go here to these three dots at the top right hand corner, I can go down to download mock-ups. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the basic mock-up. And I know it is still not really showing you what it's gonna look like. It won't be until you go ahead and um, download it that you'll see. So I'm just gonna select just this front mock-up and I am going to click generate mock-up and it'll take a second and then you'll have to hit download mock-up. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead, hit download mock-ups and it'll just go ahead and download that. And so now if you want to, you could go right back over to your Canva page. So I'm back on my Canva page. And if you wanna see what that mock-up's gonna look like, I'm just gonna add a page here so I can show you. We'll go back over to the left-hand tabs, back over to Uploads, back to Upload Files, and again, it's gonna pull up your downloads, and now you can just go ahead and download your mock-up. And there you go. So there is your stainless steel mock-up, and of course, you can put this on any kind of background you want if you wanted to make, um, if you wanted to make a full mock-up of that. So let's say I wanted to put it on you know, some sort of a wooden backdrop, I could still go over to the left-hand side again where it says upload, not upload, sorry, where it says elements. I could go ahead and go with, um, let's say wooden backgrounds. And you'll see all sorts of just wooden backgrounds. So let's say I was to take this, this is a little darker than I'd like. Oh, here's a lighter one. I like that one a little bit better. I could take this hit control and your left bracket, that's gonna send it to the back. 
I can pull this out so that it covers my whole page there. And now I've got my mock-up sort of sitting on um, sort of sitting on this table here. And so that's how you could make a pretty easy mock-up if you wanted to, just for example. I could put a, sh a little shadow here too if I wanted to. So I could go to edit image. Right now I'm on the old editor, um, just so you know there's an old one and a new one. Shadow feature you can do. And I can just go ahead and do a little, let's say a little drop shadow. And we're gonna have a little bit of a blur, we're gonna have a little bit of a transparency, we're gonna have sort of a small offset. But what I want to change is we're just gonna do sort of a bottom. That'll do, okay. Maybe a little bit more blurred, maybe a little bit more transparent. I can hit apply. And that's just gonna give it a little bit of a shadow underneath it. Gives it a little bit of a more realistic look, right? So it doesn't just look like it's flat there. And there you go. So I could do something like that. And there is a product mock-up, so pretty easy. So I took you from, you know, steps, hopefully A through Z, and showed you how you can go ahead and make this. Um, and so if you have any specific questions about this or anything similar, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. If you have any ideas for videos that you would like to see, go ahead again. You can drop those in the comment section below. I do try to accommodate you. Um, if it's something I can, I'll stick it on my list. It may take me a little bit of time to get to, but hopefully I can get to it for you. Um, just remember that whenever you're making something, go ahead and be creative, make some changes, make it a little bit unique. So don't ever just kind of throw it up as is, and don't be afraid to try out a bunch of different products too. So depending on where you're selling, I know if you're selling through Merch by Amazon, you know, they've got set products for you. If you're selling through Redbubble, they've got set products for you. But if you were selling um, using Printful through something like Etsy, then you can just try out a whole bunch of different products. And so Printful has a ton of different products for you to try. Um, so this is one that's somewhat popular. So you can sell this on Etsy, you can sell it on Amazon through Seller Central as well. And so again, just be as creative as you want and go ahead and branch out. Uh, the more places you sell, the more products you sell, the more designs you sell, the better chance you have of making money. Just remember that. So, you know, don't just stick to one niche or just stick to one category. Go ahead and, you know, get it all out there as much as you can. Um, get as much you know online real estate as they like to say as you can to try to make some sales um so that is it and i hope to see you guys again that's it for today's video if you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos as always keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time